Are you ready for some redneck backyard muzzleloading science? Hi, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Today we're on the range with our Traditions Deer Hunter Flintlock Muzzleloader, testing some ballistics gel with this muzzleloader to see if we can get an idea of how it's going to perform during hunting season. Today our projectile is going to be a 490 round ball with a 15 thousandths patch pushed by 80 grains of new production Go X3F. For the purposes of this test, our ballistics gel block is six by six by 16 inches. I'm priming with 4F. 1647. There it looks like we were able to capture that 495 ball. We're two thirds, three quarters of the way through our block. There you can see that wound channel from the top. And there we have it. And look at that. It's got some almost fingerprint like texture there. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty cool. As always with this stuff, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think we could do better. Let me know what other projectiles you want to see tested in this ballistics gel. As you can tell, we've reused this quite a bit. Keeps on going, gets a little uglier over time, just like me, but takes a lick and it keeps on ticking, as they say. So once again, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. If you'd like to learn more about this or anything else related to muzzleloading, you can check out ilovemuzzleloading.com. A couple quick details about this muzzleloader for you. This was sent to me by Traditions. Part of my agreement with them to receive this rifle was that my reviews would be open, transparent, and honest, and that's what I plan to put forth today. This is a 50 caliber flintlock muzzleloader. It has a 28 inch barrel, pretty short barrel. As you can see, it's got fiber optic sights at the front and the rear. The twist rate is one in 48. If you've not seen it, we've done a sighting in process with this muzzleloader. I encourage you to check out on the channel if you'd like to learn how to sight in a new muzzleloader. Thanks again, we'll catch you next time. I love Martin. Oh dear.